Who the fuck is that? That's uh, Fifi O'Hara. That's her 365 oh! days. That's like all her 365 days. <gasps> which Speaking I of feel doing. Unfortunately, the end of that got overshadowed by the drag race hubble hullabaloo. Well, anything, it's like the weather. You just it, you get sick of it being there. You don't even think about it if it happens every day. Mm -hmm. You know? But wow, OK. That, that's, a, that's a doer. <laughs> She's, yeah, she does too much. I've been doing this one look for eight years. Yeah, <laughs> right. She did 365 She looks. sure did. She slayed that. I can scarcely remember to take one selfie. Yeah. Right. She took that. I mean, that's crazy. I, anybody who brings a very macho, masculine, solar energy to drag, is. The, I, I'm so fascinated by that. She's no. very macho in her approach and competitive and like, it's, um, it's like sports, you know? Right, you're sense? right. Seriously. That does actually really make sense. Like, in it, it's like, uh, you know, drag means looking at each other's makeup and like, you know, it's that kind of like I'm. I'm way. B I mean, I guess women do that, but it's like it, it has this macho energy to something that is so ridiculously feminine. It's fascinating. Yeah, she's she, a great. She's incredible. Yeah. I feel like drag queens almost do makeup for each other more than for the audience. Mm. We show off for each other. Yeah. And this is a showboating dad. of technique and talent. These looks. They were mm. all different, bitch. They were. She honey. didn't just change a bottom lash. I'll change a lip liner and be like, I'm showing the judges creativity. Like, no. <laughs> she did a different thing every day. Yeah. It's crazy. Amazing. All right, look at all. Oh, uh, uh, I'm Roxy Andrews, and I'm here to make it clear. I know you love me, baby. That's, That's why, why you brought me here. I was a bitch on season five. I'm, I'm here to make it right. right. Give me Not a cool intelligence, I'll give you what you like. I'm full of tricks, baby, just like a Halloween. A room full of monsters, and it makes me want to scream. I got to get this right, so you don't waste your time. Not like my comedy, I'm killing on this run. I'm going to show you what I can do. Damn. I Am guess. I going crazy in scene two? <laughs> Again, any, anybody who, um, she's kind of like Fifi in that, like, people, Drag Race fans will weirdly try to get close to you mm. by, like, shading another, shading a, someone from the show, mm. yeah. which is the best way to get on the opposite room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't know the inner workings you know who, of our it's like, relationships. She's not doing drag. You know who's not doing drag? You, bitch. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. You know who's on Roxy Andrews' level? Pretty much no one. No <laughs> one. So See, Yeah, that is true drag artist, because from top to bottom, she, she does it all. The only thing she, she doesn't do is she cobble. Sings. She doesn't, it's not a cobbler. Right. You know, she doesn't make her shoes. And I wish she tried. Yeah, and you know, she's slacking. She could show some energy. Yeah. She, I mean, I was on this Christmas tour with her. I was like, I never thought red and green could look glamorous. Of course, she comes out full like Christmas fantasy. She's like, oh, I just kind of whipped it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's okay, so, great. I had this made. This still doesn't work. It's like, <laughs> yeah. She could, if she could walk into the costume shop of any Broadway or theatrical, major theatrical production and be like, all right, what do you need me to do? And she'd do it. She's it's so thug, incredible. Bitch. <laughs> and again, we need to celebrate drag queens for what they're good at. Yeah. And for people to hold her like, yeah, nobody I mean, she was in the bottom all the time, but like, also, it wasn't her fucking choice to stay. It was other people's. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. that was kind so of a, you, that was you have a problem with her way being to there. Get to the top and she, four. and like Ruth said, it's like you earn a redemption. Oh my God, she's the Meryl Streep of redemption. Oh my God, we were on the tour, yeah. and some fan, she was seated like this. Some fan got level with her and went, "Roxy, you really redeemed yourself this year," and I was like, "Oh Lord, what a weird condescending way to compliment someone." That yeah. is. But Roxy was like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're in gowns. Roxy's in a Christmas sweater and still looks right. better than everyone. She's yeah. just like, this is me. It's so, it's so, she's so stunning. Love it. Y'all should release a single of that, that performance.